Welcome back, folks. In the last episode, we tried to um, become a member of this most exclusive club, which is, however, a bit seedy. And we got Mrs. Piemont to vouch for us. So we shall talk to Mrs. Piemont. And these are the remains of Joey. I ought to move that trash. Yeah, someday. These are the remains of Joey, which we unfortunately lost in the um, list of his shell, which we lost in the last episode. So let's go to Mrs. Piermont. Hello! Who is this? Uh. Hmm. It's security! Open up! Security, open up! Mrs. Piermont is not at home! Mrs. Yes, Piermont is not at home! And I bet she is not amused also. Okay, let's try again. Hello! Who is this? This is the pizza delivery service, ma'am. Your pizza, madam! What kind of pizza? Quattro Formaggi, with olives and chilies. My favorite. Ugh. But I'm on a diet. Okay, let's be, be serious this time. Hello. Who is this? It's... <laughs> it's the dog warden. It's the dog warden. What are you talking about? I've had complaints about your dog. He's a health risk, madam. <laughs> I'm not opening the door, so go away. I think we've annoyed Mrs. Pierre Martin now. So... Hello! Who is this? Let's do this proper this time. It's also, me, it's Robert. the only dialogue option. Come right in, Rob! Oh, darling. I've been scared silly by cranky visitors. Ah... <laughs> uh. Poor Mrs. Piermont. Oh, darling. Welcome to my humble little home, Robert. Du, 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 du. You know, I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You Ugh. must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. Was she talking about his penis? Hmm. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Uh, I think so. Helmut was the designer of Link. Well, I forgot anyway. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. The Führer. He is the leader of the project. Okay, so what is he doing now? So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes, he stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Poor Robert. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. Mm. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually she decided to return home. What kind of so rejection? the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? No, thank I you. don't want analgesic. I want answers. So what kind of rejection are we talking about here? Is my father still alive, I wonder? Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor, 
Bunky hates cathedrals. Mm. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside when up came his breakfast. It's a good thing he didn't chuck in church. Don't interrupt, darling. <laughs> well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Well, too bad for you, lady. Hmm. I wonder why she doesn't visit the club anymore. Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memories are too painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a flower in my first bloom. He plucked me from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. And so they are, indeed. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Are you gonna sponsor me now? No, if that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Okay, while she's calling the manager, we shall nose around in her Is that apartment. Mr. Oh, no. Danielle Piermont here. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. Oh, darling. Okay, now we can wander around in her apartment. There's a strange statue. Nothing I could use that statue for. I bet Mrs. Piermont could, however. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a VCR, and I think we have a cassette of a cat. I wonder if uh, what happens if I play the cassette of the cat. Well, I think I know what is probably going to happen, but let's try to talk to the dog. To the dog. In a reasonable it's full of fashion. biscuits and dog drool. Mm. Can I have some of the biscuits? If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. Oh, don't be such a prude, Robert. I could probably touch Mrs. Piemont, but I'm not going to. So, I think we're going to have a little fun with um, Spunky. Yep, I think he's paying attention now. Okay, now we can take the dog biscuits. If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop okay, we'll leave all the, over my hands. We'll leave the dog bowl alone and contend with the dog biscuits. <clears throat> okay, now we shall leave Mrs. Piemont. And we shall use the dog biscuits to set up a trap for poor Spunky. There's a rope, a plank and some bricks. We shall place um, the biscuits on the plank. Far too heavy to lift. Okay, we can't um, lift it by hand, but maybe with this rope we can. Okay, now we've set up a trap. Ha! Oh. The trap is baited. Yeah. All we need now is Spunky. While we're waiting, um, let's go to the club and find out if Mrs. Piemont 
could convince Mr. Colson that we are indeed worthy to be a community member of this most exclusive club. Or well, actually, let's just wait until Spunky and Mrs. Piermont come around. Okay. I think in a few seconds. Um, Spunky will come around. And we will. Um, <clears throat> propel him into this poop. At least it's a pool of made of made out of water, and not made of out of lava. It's attached. Yeah, I know that. Just pull it. Ha! The trap is baited. <laughs> Oh. Poor Spunky. What was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? Oh no. Officer Blunt, come and help me quickly. Okay, now we've distracted this guy. We can enter the cathedral to discover whatever just for a second, you scared me. But you're only dummies. Hmm, this dummy... Those dummies look strangely familiar. Actually, they are rather reminiscent of this one guy... ...which made a bad comment... ...at our clothing. And which refused our... ...so grateful offer of a... ...ticket for a tourist. Economy class tourist, um, economy, economy class tour ticket, city tour ticket that is. Okay, can we tell anything about those dummies? They're not human. Someone's been making androids. Well, I could see that they are not humans. Also, thank you. You're not... Very analyt analytical, analytically skilled, are you? Okay. Let's go to the. Um, actually, before we go to the exit, let's make a save here. Because I think the situation might become dangerous. There's a trolley and a cabinet. Is there anything interesting in the cabinet? Wouldn't you know it? It's locked. We don't have a lock. Pick or a key. No, we don't have a key. It's a kind of bed with wheels. The wheels are locked in place. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Um, let's look at the lockers. There aren't any markings on it, or locks. Ugh. You don't look so healthy. You should get out in the sunshine. His skin is cold, like plastic. Oh, it's just a dummy, apparently. There aren't any markings. This place is spooky. His skin is cold, like plastic. Okay, we'll continue to um, explore this this locker, lockers, when we come back, folks. So until next time, folks. Until then.